Louis Alberts is, in a sense, just starting out. The 22-year-old is in his rookie season on the Sunshine Tour, and it's only this year that the man from Dundee Golf Club has left behind the amateur ranks. It's a bit different to the amateur life because um, amateur, you, you still travel and all that, but it's, it's, I don't know, it's different. Different golfers, different, different cuts, different scores, and the courses get set up differently. And, and, but, but I am enjoying it very much and I'm, I'm looking forward to, to the rest of it. He's getting to taste, for the first time, some of the best events the tour has to offer. Coming from, from amateur tournaments to professional ranks, um, especially these Vodacom events, because you, you, you play the pro, meet new people, and then and you've got the events in the evenings, and it's brilliant, you know, to, to think people can do that for you without, without much cost um, added to it, it's great. And I think without their help, what, what would happen then? Yeah, I think all the golfers are very thankful for their help, and, it, and it's, it's really nice and you meet people that you wouldn't have, have met if you didn't have the opportunity, you know. All part of the learning experience. We spoke to him at Arabella where, unfortunately, he was finding the going a bit tough. If you're not hitting it straight off the tee box, you've got problems, and especially if the wind blows at 40 k's an hour, it doesn't help either. So you have to get, you have to get it in a fair way, and then from there it gets easier. But from the tee box with, with the wind blowing, yeah, it's not ideal, but it's the same for everyone. Obviously, Louis is still young, but he can still be termed a late bloomer. It's time at the Tux Golf Academy, which has seen him blossom. That's where it all started. Um, I didn't play much golf um, at school compared to the other to the other players I played against. Um, got to Tux in 2015, and then it started. You know, playing, starting in amateur golf and whatnot, and just got better year by year, and, and that's where the career and the, and the love for the professional side of it started. And I'm very happy for everyone that was involved there. And, but I think I got to a stage where, where, where I thought it, it, it was the right time to, to carry on. And, and that's what I did, and I'm, and I'm happy with my decision. We really took note of Louis at the South African Stroke Play Championship at Pekinwood. He'd already beaten pros on the IGT Challenge Tour, and here he was rivaling the cream of the world's amateurs. I felt like I played really well, and I was out of the lead, out of the first spot by like ten or nine shots or something, which is ridiculous. But it was a good experience, um, playing well at a, at a big stage, and, and th at that stage in my career, it was it was big, um, the tournament and. Play, and playing well in a, in a big event gives you a lot of confidence and, and it was nice and you play against you know the other good amateurs in the world because there are other people coming over so, so it was a good experience I played well. He had two wins as an amateur on the IGT last season a first as a pro came at Copperleaf in July he's content to progress at home. I wasn't keen on going to the States you're just out of your comfort zone from day one and if, if something had to go wrong or if something, you, you're not at home. And um, I feel the players that play in South Africa are, are really good. You see some of the players playing well overseas and it's, it's definitely a good stepping stone. If you look at the scores and, 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 and the golf courses you play on, that, that's why I didn't go to the States because you already have a good, a good foundation here in South Africa. If you, if you can be good here and then Sunshine Tour and then you can be good anywhere. His best Sunshine Tour result is his first top 10, including back-to-back -back rounds of 66 at the Sun Wild Coast Sun Challenge. Contending, a taste of things to come. In my rookie season on Sunshine Tour, if you just have a little taste of, of, of winning for your first time, it's wonderful, you know, it's not, it's not the same as amateur, it's similar, but, it, but it's not the same. It, it's at a much bigger stage and it was wonderful. Just just that little taste that that you could win um, was nice. And then obviously, if you if you've had that once, you you want it every week. So it, you know, it's just that little extra confidence of of working harder and doing everything a little bit better, so you can get into those situations more often. You know, you don't you don't get chances given to you. You have to work for them. Work is clearly paying off, and he appears to have a great attitude. I would classify myself having good, you know, a mind game. I don't get very angry or, or too happy or... So I think I, I try to use that to my advantage and then I wouldn't say I'm too aggressive or, or, or not too, you know, or not aggressive, you know. 
It, it depends on the hole, it depends on the golf course, it depends, you know, I, I'm, I don't really enjoy the wind, so, so I try, you know, to keep the ball in the fairway. You know, in some weeks you feel, you feel comfortable. Like at Wild Coast, for some reason, I just felt comfortable, I felt comfortable with the driver, and then, and then you play a whole different game, and then, you, you know, you go for everything and then it works out because you, you felt confident in, in it working, and some weeks you don't, and you just try to manipulate it a little bit. At the end of the day, you're just trying, trying to shoot a score. It doesn't matter how you do it. Progress is such that Louis Alberts now has an eye on winning the Bobby Locke Trophy. Starting in the beginning of the year, um, the goals have changed. Some of the goals have, uh, have been reached. I think them, where, where I'm at at the moment, I'm leading the rookie at the moment. There's lots of things can change. You know, the big events are still coming up. But that's definitely a thing I would love to win. You know, since since the beginning, it's it's been what I what I wanted. So so that's that's number one goal. And then obviously to come top 50 order of merit would, would be lovely because then opportunities are just are just a lot better next year. Getting into co sanctions, etc. And then after those, you know, the smaller goals come into place. Maybe week in and week out. And then you know, playing a co sanction never hurt anyone. And um, that would be lovely. So I think at I don't try to get too, too ahead of myself, but the long-term goals are probably just top 50 and, and winning the rookie. The Sunshine Tour, it begins here. Surely a big player for years to come.